test ng in this series of test ng we are going to cover the following topics how to create a sample test case with the help of selenium and test ng the setup and tad on methods prioritizations grouping and depends on the assert class parameterizations parallel testing listeners and how to integrate it with maven and jenkins in today's tutorial we are going to learn installation creation of a test case execution and viewing reports okay a few facts before we get started this is just a testing framework hence it cannot automate but it will help in automation it supports preconditions and post conditions it supports multi thread operations it generates reports it supports data driven testing grouping and prioritizations we can integrate it with jenkins we we'll learn all of this and many more you will require java 1.7 or above Eclipse 4.2 or above. Welcome to automation and let's get started. So I already have downloaded the latest version of Eclipse and and uh, I've extracted it in this folder. Let me open it. As you can see, Oxygen 2. Is given your workspace right here, where basically are you going to. Uh, work with your projects and click on launch once eclipse opens up we are going to go ahead and create a java project so let me maximize it close it in your project explorer right click click on new project click on java project or go to java project click on next give it a name test ng and click on finish once you're done with that the next step is to go ahead and download our test ng plugin so you go to help go to eclipse marketplace and over there go ahead and type test ng let it load i'll type here test ng click on install and wait for these um, components to load right here once your components have loaded simply click on confirm you will be getting an agreement going forward click on I accept and click on finish it'll take some time but your software that is the test ng should be installed within Eclipse so let me just skip to the particular part in the security warning click on install anyways and finally your test ng will be installed the last step is to restart eclipse so once your once your eclipse restarts your plugin should be installed within eclipse let the eclipse restart here we go okay go back to your project you shall see only one library in it okay which is a JRE library you need to also put in your test ng library so right click on your project okay you go to build path and click on add libraries okay either from here or you go to configure build path go to libraries and click on add libraries from here anywhere will do go to test ng click on next and click on finish apply and close so now you have got both the libraries right here okay this is your installation now creation of a test case so right click and go ahead and let's create a package let this package name be test again right click and let's create a class let's say tutorial one it's important that you create a package and a class let me zoom in here so you all can see what's happening within your class just create a sample method so public void test one okay so this is going to be my test one and your code is going to come within this particular method but for now we'll just put a sample dummy code over here okay which just says this this is 
test 1 okay now what I'll do is I'm going to make two such tests test 1 and let's say test 2 now how to create this into a test they are just simple methods to convert this into test we have to simply type in the annotation test above any method that's it so test here and at the rate test right here go ahead and import your test ng annotation right here import org test ng dot annotations that's it so once you do this this particular piece of code just below test is going to get converted into a test case so test case 1 and my test case 2 to execute this right click on your class go to run has test ng you see the execution you shall be able to see I've ran two failure zero past one past two this is my test one this is my test two we shall learn more about this in detail in our next class to run to uh, sorry to create an XML file okay automatically we shall learn it manually as well but for now automatically right click on your particular class okay go to test ng and convert to test ng click on finish your test ng XML will be available here double click on it you can go to source you shall see over here that this is my suit name with the name suit I can give it any name I want my test in it with the name test I can change it it has got various classes for now I have only one with the name test okay which is my package name dot my class name tutorial one so whichever tests are within this particular class which are two okay will be executed to execute it right click on the XML do run has test ng suit both of them have ran this is my test one this is my test two total run two failure is zero this is execution with the help of uh, your XML now, how to view the reports simply click on your project right click and go to refresh you should see it here somewhere refresh you, you should see your test ng output in that you should this is all of your test ng reports to view the reports you can just click on test ng right here html you can right click over here and do open with html editor sorry with your web browser and your test ng reports will open up right here so one test has ran this is the location of it okay if you want to know the details you can just click on pass method show you know you can see which all tests have ran within it green tick means for pass etc so this is the basics of test ng we'll be learning more in depth of it going forward if you have any questions just comment below do not forget to subscribe thank you